Hi everyone, welcome back again to Spiritual Growth Tarot and Astrology. No astrology today though, or for this reading. I'm Denise, hope you guys are doing really, really well. Oh goodness. So anyway, I, I'm curious about the uh, plans that I saw, actually the architectural plans that, that prove that there's uh, a tunnel that goes from the beach up to Mar-a-Lago. And apparently Rudy Giuliani, Giuliani wrote about it in his um, a book that's coming out this month, uh, where he stayed in a bungalow and used that tunnel to go back and forth to uh, Mar-a-Lago so that he didn't have to be seen by the press because he was having a really hard time after losing his election. So anyway, and that was like back in 2008, I think. So I want to, I have a list of questions here and I'm going to uh, just dive into them and see where it leads. You know, that is sometimes you open a can of worms. And then again, I, it might just be that it was, you know, closed off during, um, the, maybe the Secret Service did close them off, close that, that tunnel off. And maybe there's only that one. But anyway, I'm going to check into some things here. So bear with me, I'm going to bring the camera down overhead, so hold on. <laughs> so I decided to use Chero Marchetti's Kipper for this reading, and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do 21 cards and get a good story here. So th I'll, I'll do uh, three rows of seven. So yeah, so I want to I want to explore the tunnel from Mar-a-Lago to the beach and the bungalow that Rudy stayed in. Um, so during Trump's ownership, what went in and out? And did the Secret Service close it up when uh, you know when Trump was installed? Is it just one tunnel? Is it still operational? Like, what's the what's the story there? And uh, so we'll go past, present, future. Like, what's what's the truth about that? And I I posted it in in my community section, but boy, I bet you it's been two or three weeks. And I forgot to actually read on it. So the plans are there. We can see that there there was a tunnel, but was it ever open when Trump was you know since he's since he bought Mar-a-Lago? Let, let's look at that. What's the truth about all of that? What's the truth about that tunnel? at the bottom in case I need more information. Hmm, interesting. Okay. That's Trump. That's Mar-a-Lago. Okay, sorry. Okay, now it'll go faster. Oh, now there's, that's interesting. That's a restriction. Okay. So remember past, present, future. But the future, you know, has already ended because we're looking. Hmm. Now that's interesting there. It would really just be like past and present, you know. I doubt, ooh, 
I doubt it would be a whole lot of future, unless it's still open, but that doesn't... I'm, huh. I should just not think and just read the cards. <laughs> okay, hold on. So, in the past, so I'm not going to go with the center yet because this it's not, I didn't set it, I didn't set my intention to read it that way. So in the past, there was some partnership, some relationship that I... Uh, that was a way to distract from what was really going on. And although it was risky, I think it was a way to pass through money and communications and documents. And this is Trump right here. This is Mar-a-Lago. I wasn't reading as to like what will his future be about it. I, this really is kind of just, you know, a, a reading on the past. But past and, you know, present. I just tend to go past, present, future. But then I realized with well, my questioning, I was asking everything about the past. So, uh, you know what, actually, reading the four corners here. So, so when you're doing a grand tableau or a mini grand tableau you read the first few cards as the opening and then you read the four corners to frame in so this feels to me like um, his bond with the property <laughs> came with some support right but it was a way to take, have some risky actions going on um, as to money that could go in and out. Uh, wow, it's like, it, and, and this is this could be an inheritance card and it's knighting up to him. It's something he inherited with the property. That tunnel was there. So the cards are confirming the plans that I found online that, that actually, you know, the show, the, uh, that do show the, uh, the tunnel. And I'll, um, I'll go back into the community section and post that link in, in the uh, uh, description area under the video is what I'll do. So, anyway, a, a way to, within partnership, move something that was hidden, that was underground, And now this would be, when it comes to Trump, this is Melania's card. So she's known about it all this time as well. Interesting. Okay. Huh. Yeah, there wasn't anything she could do about it. But this would be like an underground tunnel, wouldn't it? Or, or it could be that it's... Um, it could also be saying that the Secret Service did close it up because with this with this card, you're, well, you know, on one level, it's like hidden places, secrets, restrictions, something you can't get past, and something that gets closed off. You know, if I was using the Lenaman, this would be the, the, just like the mountain card. Only like a cave in the mountain or something, you know. But it's it would have the same meaning. So I do think that it has, I think it was closed off. I do think that the Secret Service closed off because closed off the ability to travel through. And why Melania comes through down here. Maybe I just drew the wrong card, you know. I'm... Um, what was at the bottom of the deck, I have the Privileged Lady, Toil and Labor, Family Room, Judication and Thoughts, like Strategies. I feel like it's more like these three. I don't feel like these cards have anything to do with the reading. Yeah, so Wealth and Creativity 
and then this looks to me like um, uh, workers, illegal immigrants or workers to get into Mar-a-Lago's, you know, um, close, you know, spaces, intimate spaces to get inside. It's all right here. Maybe Melania helped with that somehow, with her, you know, her connections. I mean, she, she was born in Slovenia. She did have, um, it was um, Jeffrey Epstein who introduced them, and we all know he was involved in trafficking, human trafficking. And the cards right here in the center are speaking to that, Right? community, I mean, this would be like the beach as well. These would be people that could travel, because this is nighting, travel uh, in a very indiscreet, hidden way, because these two cards are nighting, that deceives, that deceived. I mean, the cards are here. This could be, you know, like in the tarot, the Six of Swords, where, you know, you you're traveling by water, travel. Wow. This is our card for visitors th that could come up through the, the uh, tunnel. This could be when Rudy used the place. Remember, because this is how we heard about it. it. It came out on the news that uh, Rudy had stayed in uh, the bungalow during 2008 after he lost his election and was so down. Uh, interesting, and then this is, here's Trump and his tight bond with Rudy and his other family of, you know, uh, you know, the transnational crime syndicate, that's the community of th those people there. Um, now, in the context of the questions that I put into this spread, the courthouse would would be our standard card for um, discovering something, and uh, you know, in like public spaces. So get traveling in under from public spaces, but I do feel like these nighting together tells me that. Uh, the Secret Service did seal it up. But before that, before he was president, you know, because I think it, I, it, was it in the 80s that he bought Mar-a-Lago? I'm pretty sure it was in the 80s. Uh, he, you know, so he had it for all those years. And here's what happened there, right? Deceptions. Lies, secrets, you know, energy vampires that suck the life force out of you, you know what I mean? And that nights to Mar-a-Lago itself, and then Rudy Giuliani and any other supportive man that was really, you know, pretty mentally ill. And this could be the, the distraction to get even documents, all types of communications in and out. Go through the, you know, bring them in through the tunnel. There's that possibility. I mean, I know it sounds crazy, especially in the digital age, but um, we have to think way back before. Like the intention for having the tunnel in the, in the, from the beginning. For the, ten, the, the intention for building a tunnel to Mar-a-Lago. Wow, whatever you guys know about this, feel free to drop it in the comments because I'm, you know, I'm kind of I'm reading it a little bit cold. Other than that one article, so, um, and I, I will link it below. I just can't remember where I read it because it's been a couple weeks now. I'm finally getting around to this. <laughs> uh, so, the, the thievery card 
Because I'm, the reason I'm focusing on it is because these cards are all, you know, right close to him. And he's up here in control, right? And so he's looking down on and even facing uh, the ability to hide things, people, communications, anything that steals. You know, this is a card of like energy vampires and he's right here and he's married to the mob. And here, you know, besides communications and documents, we just have to think back before the days when things were digital. You sent documents, passports, identity, you know, false identities so that people could change their identities. It was risky. People were in a really bad place and they had to find someone to support them and they're creating their new life. And here they are coming from other countries. I don't know who this mature woman is up here that would have supported the whole thing. Because Melania is down here and that this would not be uh, Melania's card. This would be... Um, some woman that supported Trump, that kind of had his back and he got a piece of the action with the uh, traveling, uh, you know, bringing people in. I mean, it very well could be Ghislaine Maxwell because we don't really have to stick with the rules of the age. It's just that this is a supportive, uh, the energy and consciousness of this card is uh, a supportive, confidential person who cares about, uh, you know, growing her own wealth on the backs of people. Wow. And then here we have the child card. I mean, human trafficking is right here. And the child card knights to her, and the child card knights to uh, the foreign culture card here. As well as documents for these foreign, you know, this would be our immigration here. And even anyone who wants to visit could come that way, but then also this card, this, the um, gift card is also another young children card. This could be a new path for young children to come through from overseas. Imagine coming in off of a boat and up through a tunnel and then having a job at Mar-a-Lago and paid less than minimum wage because you're undocumented. Yeah, again, what was at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, the toil and labor card. You don't, you, you know, you don't even get to earn. And then again, somebody, so here we have both of the women. If that's not Ghislaine Maxwell, this probably is. Somebody in his intimate circle that would oversee this whole thing. And of course we have a supportive man down here as well, and they're knighted together, so it could very well have been a couple. And this does not have to be Rudy Giuliani's card, but you know, we I, I tend to read in layers. So this could be Rudy Giuliani that stayed there, as well as any other supportive man who also worked with a supportive woman for Trump, right? And Mar-a-Lago. Yeah, wow. The concern card. So the psychological illness card nights over here to the community of 
people who came in and then control in the journey, the, the way these cards knight together, the movement of people that were hidden and the movement of visitors and Melania comes through too like she had a part in this wow I would have never thought of that um, interesting Okay, so I'm trying to see if there's anything else before I close this up. I don't really see anything else other than, uh, you know, to have this journey card here and this, like, hidden journey. The The thing I do like seeing is that I do believe, because these cards night together, I do believe that uh, Secret Service closed it up. And maybe... That is something that Melania actually liked. Maybe she felt safer that way. I, I don't know. That's kind of interesting. Oh, it could have been to protect Baron. But before they were married, uh, all of this happened. You know, all of this was the lead up. Hmm, interesting. Okay, well, I don't think I'm seeing anything else, but if you guys do, you know, feel free to take a screenshot of this and tell me what you get. I may have missed something, but, um, yeah, I, I have a private reading to do, so I can't really spend much more time on this. So, okay, thanks, you guys. Take good care. Bye.